Here we go. As the sun starts to rise, we are back in Myth of Empires. Excited to get into this one. TVF Gaming here. We played this on the channel a couple years ago. We're going to get back into it here today. Hopefully do a little bit of a playthrough on it. Kind of half guide, half playthrough, and half us just messing about trying to figure out the game a little bit more. It's been a while, so some of this is going to be refreshing for me as well. There's lots of cool stuff you can do in this game. The O button is how you do the little rotating camera if you want to be able to do that. Hold the O button and then spin it. So that way you can do that. Let go of the O and it goes back to normal. A couple cool things. You can do Control t and Control h to hide the stuff on the left and the right if you don't like it. And if you don't like the little mission stuff up there, hit the J button. That can get rid of that. So really, really cool. Uh, lots of cool stuff in here. Press I to open the inventory. You can choose your expertise based on the flashing button. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and click over to this one. Talent and skill. We'll go through these in just a second. We're going to go physique. We're going to go lumbering. And it wants us to do this down here. You have to do this before you can put stuff into the skill points. Increase the skills expertise point. Confirm. Boom. Okay, is that all we got to do for that one? It is. Nice. Let's leave that up so we can actually see those. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the other things in the game. Obviously, top left, you got your little character, your health, stam, food up on the top as well as your level. Top right is the time and the location that you're in. So really cool up there. Uh, oh, and nice. It's actually... A I think that's actually time in China instead of time where I'm at. Very cool. All right. Let's get to gathering and stuff. Your typical survival game where you got to go hit the E button, grab a bunch of rocks, grab a bunch of stuff from the plants, and punch some trees, and then start making you some weapons and tools. But let's talk real quick about some of the other stuff in this game. It's got a really good character creator. I, I go pretty generic with my character, but you can do tons of different tattoos, looks, hairstyles, all kinds of cool stuff like that. The body sizes can be changed pretty drastically. That is your inventory up on the top. This is where you can craft some of your simple stuff in your crafting queue. The next one over is the important one. This is the talent and skills. Before you can do anything, you have to put a point down here before you can do any of the stuff up here. But there's lots of good things in here. Typically, I start with the physique and lumbering because it makes you do that. And then we end up going a lot into the bow because we really want to make sure that our character is really good at shooting a bow. In order to do that, throw rocks, shoot your bow. That's how you level that up. You start getting better and better at that. But these are all the different ones. You have your strength, which is one hand, shield, two hand, pole arm, heavy arm. We've got agility, which is projectile, bow, crossbow, riding, and light armor. Physique, physique, mining, lumbering, hunt, and plant. Intelligence, craft, siege, build, armor, and medicine. And charisma, command, drills, recruitment, tame, and renown. What's really cool in this game, too, is you can add unwilling employees to your team to help them, you know, have them help you out with your battles. And I, I think they actually have a few at base functions, too, but it's been a while, so I don't remember for sure on that. You can tame animals, and there are a few different mounts in this game, so that's going to be exciting to check out once we get a little bit further as well. The island that we started on actually has a couple horses on it, so eventually we'll get into some horses. We died as soon as we spawned in. It was really weird. We spawned in and fell off of a cliff, so the spawn point was a little bit weird, but we are on a brand new map. This is the DLC map, Dongzu. If you do it now, if you're playing early, early on, it's going to say Eastern Island, so that's how you know that it's the newer one. Uh, some other things up here. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of these menus. So obviously we talked about the talent and the skill. You start unlocking these ones, and it gives you uh, different attributes within each one of those categories. We're probably going to go within bow later on. So stuff like this, reduce your stamina loss. This one gives you increased archery headshot damage. And just so on down all the way to the end where you start getting some really cool stuff over there. Next one is your crafting recipes. There is a ton of these. You can see all the different little tabs here. And you can go through and you can learn these check marks there. We've already learned it. You got to get to a certain level to unlock some of them. So like right there, it says level two. This one says level 15, level 12, level 10. Plus you, you need the actual one point re for recipe. Down here is your recipe points. If this says zero, obviously you can't unlock any. But as you get levels, you'll get more of these points. So you can unlock more of this stuff up here. Next one is your guild, which I guess I should probably start my own guild. Let's do that. Let's go Ed adventurers all right confirm boom okay cool and you can change some stuff in there and eventually we'll get some other people in here because we got a few people joining us hopefully on this server in the near future so that's the guild stuff there there are some really cool stuff with that but we'll talk about that later on as we get into guild stuff the missions there's a few missions in this game to walk you through some of the early game stuff as well as there's some cool stuff like Dispatch, which we'll check out a little bit later, too. I just learned about that a little bit ago. Subordinates, once you start adding some of your employees or recruits to the team, you'll, you'll have those show up in here, and there's lots of cool stuff you can do with them. Uh, the arts, I actually haven't messed with this too much. This is something I'm going to have to learn about as we get into this a little bit more. Achievements, just like it sounds. Uh, events we don't have going. Nobility shows the nobility across the map all the way up to the Grand Prince. The territories we don't have. The log we don't really care about. The event 
that just shows you all the events and then there's you can actually do the in-game shop here which i know most people don't like the skin preview oh that's awesome wow <laughs> I tell you, man, it has some really cool look stuff in it. And then it actually has an in-game wiki as well. If you're ever kind of confused on some of the stuff, you can jump in here and you can kind of check out how this stuff works. It's actually really well done the way they set up this wiki here in-game. I think that's a really cool in-game thing to add. But this game was away from Steam for a little while, so we're excited to see it back. I'm excited to get further into it. Like I said, I won't talk too much. I'm going to make sure I get some of this stuff done and get some of the early game gathering done. But the game looks absolutely beautiful. They improved it a lot since last time we played. So I'm excited to see, kind of just as we get further into it, get a horse, get a pole arm, and go poke people in the face is going to be the eventual plan. We do have a couple settings here on the server. This is the TBFG community server. We've got it set up on here to where it's times 2 XP and times 2 gather. I think times 2 XP might be a little bit too fast because we did level up pretty quick from uh, level 1 to level 5 when I was testing early on today. So we'll, we'll see about that. Let's go ahead and see what we get from all these. I know we're getting locust and grass from there. I know we can eat the locust and cook them later. Over here, we're getting just a bunch of XP. But everything you do in this game gives you XP for something. On the right over there, where we said you have your little missions that you can get rid of with the J button, it says press L to check out the mission detail. Let's do that. This will take you over to your missions. And then you can actually see these in here. Collect grass. We can go ahead and claim. Mission objective, collect 50 grass. Mission reward is 50 XP and two copper coins. The copper coins are very important. That'll come in handy later. You actually have to pay your employees and stuff like that too, so that's important to keep in mind. Uh, next one is to open the talent skill, which we did. Let's claim that one. Next one is craft straw rope. We'll do that in a second. This one is collect. Oh, those are the finished ones. Okay, so those are finished ones. Right now we're on the straw rope. So let's go into our inventory. And up here, we can create quite a few. Let's go more. Let's go like that. Confirm. We're going to make a bunch of ropes because we're going to end up using quite a few. Ropes are used in like everything in this game. So we'll need quite a bit of those. I think we need to... I don't know if we can get the sticks from these ones or if I need to go ahead and punch a tree. I don't remember on that one. And I just played the playtest like a week ago, but we've been playing a lot of different survival games since then. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we need. Get all that. All right. So what do we need for this? I need one more branch to make any one of those. Obviously, we need to make the axe first. So let's cruise around and look for another branch. There you go. I think we got our other branch, and we just finished the mission for crafting all of that rope. Let's go ahead and press the X button to claim the reward there. Nice. We are now level 4 as well, which is awesome. All right, next one is collect stone and wood. We need a few more branches, but we can actually go ahead and make our stone. Oh, no, is it hammer? A hammer made from large stone. You can use it to break boulders and collect stones. I did not mean to do that. Can I cancel it? I don't think I can cancel. Dang. Uh, nope. No way to cancel it? Okay. So I'm going to need two more branches. <laughs> Dang it. I did the wrong one. We needed the other one. So let me run around and gather just a little bit more. There's one there. And there's one there. We're good. We don't have to break. Okay. Now we can make the axe. That's the one I meant to do. My bad. Put that on our hot bar. Go ahead and get a torch made up here in a second as well. You can see the crafting over here. Body toxicity, meridian toxicity, and gastrotoxicity. Level 4, 220 HP. Oh, man, there's lots of cool stuff there. We're going to have to learn all of this stuff. All right, here we go. Get that axe going. All right, let's chop a tree finally. Is it these ones? Yeah. I think we just gather those. At least we can gather while we're holding our axe. I love that. I, I hate when you can't do that in a game. There we go. First tree knocked over. Hopefully it breaks into some stuff. I don't remember how this works. Nope. Okay. Did it? It broke again. I don't know. Did we get the stuff in my inventory from that? I think we did. Pretty much everything we do is going to level us up. We'll get up to level... I think you need level 15 or 16 to really get into some of the stuff. I think times 2 XP is really fast, though. I don't know if that was a good idea. Maybe we should have been at times 1. All right. Let's get a torch made up. And then let's probably start unlocking some of the crafting stuff. So we need to get a campfire. Confirm. All right, we've already got that mission completed over there. Finish that one. Craft stone axe, collect branch, got it. Craft stone hammer and add stone hammer to the sidebar, got it. Oh no, what else do we have? Collect 30 rubble. Okay, I need to get a little bit of rubble. Let's do that. We'll break one of these. Maybe. Can we, is these, are these ones we break? Yep, there we go. Gain sand, gain rubble. Finish that mission there. There you go, flying through the missions. 
All right, we already unlocked the crafting recipe for the campfire. Now we need to craft and place the campfire. So let's go like this. Double click that campfire. We got 20 seconds on that. So while that's going, we'll keep collecting. Look at that, horses. The level for all the enemies displays right above them, so you can kind of get an idea on that. There are enemy camps and lots of other stuff here. How oh, wow. You can see the map. The map is huge and epic. I have no clue where we are. But this map is just huge. We're on some little island. I think we're on that one there. We might be there. I don't know for sure. I'll have to figure out exactly how that works. There's probably like a marker right here that's showing us neutral camp vagrant question marks. That's where I died. So I know where my death is. I just don't know where we are. Okay. Got our campfire good to go. Craft in place. Go like that. And boom. All right. There you go. First campfire down. Go ahead and finish that mission too. We need to roast locust on the campfire. So go ahead and eat it. Open the inventory. And we put stuff over here into this one, I believe. So throw all those locusts over there. And we need a little bit of fuel. Let's go split. Confirm. I think it's right click to split. Trigger. There you go. And then we go here. And let's craft all. There we go. We'll craft those up. And then we'll have a little bit of food. I'm sure locusts don't taste good, but at least we have our first food to get going. Uh, skewered locust. There we go. Let's go like that. All right. And then I... Do we have to eat it? Eat skewered locust. There we go. Eat the locust. Eat the locust. Nice. Another mission complete. Flying through the missions. Level 6 already. Learn basic weapon recipe. Unlock crafting recipe for the crude polearm. So let's go back over here. Crafting recipe. We've got workbench. Building furniture. Weapon. Weapon. We're going to do... Crude polearm. Do I have enough? I would also like to do crude bow. Nice. That'd be awesome if we could get that going. And then can we unlock clothes as well? Crude wooden protective gear. Okay. All right. Let's get started on these. Oh. Oh, we actually unlocked these with one of these missions, didn't we? Oh, my bad. Does it go over here? Hold on. Oh, my bad. <laughs> That's our craft... I'm, I'm really slow. All right. Craft that. I need way more rope, branch, and bark. So we'll have shoes at least. All right. Let's start working on that. So we need to go ahead and make the pole arm. That one is wooden spear. It's that one, right? So I need three rope and 11 branch. So let's go chop down a couple trees and get ourselves a bunch of rope made up. Oh, the other one we need to do is a throwing rock that's the other mission here so let's look for throwing rock throwing rock that's awesome we can make throwing rocks okay claim that reward i didn't realize that's what that was now we need to craft wooden spear and craft throwing stones so let's do that so wooden spear got it and then throwing stones i need to go get some more rubble let's get some rubble there you go We'll try to get clothes on as quick as we can today, too. But there you go. Get a bunch of rubble, and then we'll turn this into throwing stones. All right. Craft more. Craft all. We need more than that, actually. There you go. Another level. Nice. We've got a bunch of points to spend. There we go. All right. One, two, three. Okay. We've got a couple more of those going. Let's get our spear down here. Let's get our clothes on. And let's go get some more rope for those and four more. There we go. Eight rope coming up and then we should be able to make the rest of our wooden gear so we'll be no longer naked at least. At least we got pants on already. We're starting to look good already. Look, see? I'm not running around in an underwear anymore. All right. Stay kind of near the fire. The water looks a lot better too. Awesome. Uh, I think we need to take out like a sea turtle or something like that. Throwing stones almost done. And then we'll put those down in the hot bar as well. Throwing stone. Okay. So can I literally throw these? Let's see. Five. How do I throw them? Okay. That was not a very good throw. Okay. 
Okay, so hold left click. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the way to do it. Let's go ahead and use the spear just a little bit. Sorry, sea turtle. We do 104 piercing damage. Okay. Does it matter where I hit him at? Okay, almost got him done. Nice. Disappearing in 10 minutes. Can we chop you up this way? Oh, wait. Use the right one. Can I chop you up? Uh, yep, we're getting bone and raw meat. Nice. We can eat something better than the locusts. Okay, we got that. We can now make our top. I need a little bit more bark to make the helmet. Come on now. There you go. All right, we should have the bark now to make the last piece. And we've got just a few more seconds. We'll have the shirt ready. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually make a little bit of good meat here. So we'll put the raw meat over and grilled meat. Confirm for. Nice. Get some good meat going. Perfect. Got our top ready. Let's see how we look now. Oh, man, we are ready. Straight warrior. It looks good, man. They made some changes to the kind of the, the mesh of everything, too. It looks a lot better. All right, so that, that's pretty good on that stuff. What do we have next? We already finished that mission. Let's finish that. Next one is wooden protective gear, which we did. Boom. And then craft each one. Boom. Oh, man, flying through the missions. Okay, a little bit of helmet. How do we look now with the helmet? Even better. <laughs> awesome, man. Hunt animals and use the axe to gather resources. Hunt rabbits or other animals to gather meat. Well, let's do it again. We are going to poke this crab. That's a level 9, though. All right. We're committed. Let's do it. Oh, we actually w wiped him out right away. Is there more of them coming? There we go. Get that. Awesome. Nice reward. All right. Main. Roast meat with the campfire. Hopefully that's the kind of meat we needed. Let's go like that. And we already did that one. Do I need to... We need roasted toad. Oh, I need to kill a toad or that one. Because that's grilled. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if I can find... I don't think I can find a toad or a scorpion right now. Oh, it says grilled meat. Okay, we can do grilled meat. We'll just do one of those. Since it didn't already complete the mission from the previous one. So just got a couple seconds there. There you go. We got a little bit of meat. Finish another mission. All right, next one is craft a shield. Let's go ahead and check out a shield. Have I not unlocked it? Main, craft shield. Unlock crafting recipe for crude shield. So crafting recipe, crude shield. Nice. All right, can we make that pretty easy? Just need three rope. And then we need to knock down another tree. And then we will have a shield. So we're going to be pretty OP here in a minute. Okay, first wooden shield. We'll get that crafted up. That'll be ready in 15 seconds. Have another mission done. Awesome. And hopefully we can at least get a base done first day. Now, if you're playing on a server, I recommend not even doing a... a a base day one honestly i would level up to like level 15 ish before i even do any of that i've seen that in a couple guides as well and that's definitely how we would play it if we were going on like a server where it was more competitive this one's pve so it's not a big deal here but all right press x to claim next one is craft bow and arrows so craft a crude bow we need more rope and then we need we just need tons of rope so let's go like that Get rope for days. We need 20 arrows. So I'm going to need way more. So let me gather for just a few minutes while we're waiting on that. We'll get all of these made up, and then we'll use our first bow. All right, we got our first bow. We also got a couple arrows coming up already. Is it R to reload, or what is it? I have to figure out how we draw the bow. Drag arrows to the bow. Gotcha. So we got to go like that. Now we can draw the bow. And I think it's just hold left click, right? Wait till that goes down, and shoot. And then eventually that'll level up over time. Press X. New mission. Animal skinner. Hunt any animal and skin it. Okay. Does that mean I actually need... Do I need like a, a uh, hunting knife? I think there's something way over there. I feel like we're overweight. I don't think we are, but I feel like we are. Let me go ahead and see if there's something else that we should kind of check out here. I know talent and skill. We can start putting things in here since we're already kind of going into the crossbow realm here. 
We got to get to level 10. So we just need one more level and then we'll do that. Let's go down here and see if we find anything cool. Yeah, feeling really, really slow. Let's see if we go faster when we do this. Not really. We got a couple creatures down here. We'll go take these guys out. We'll see what we need to do to skin. Okay, our archery skill is not good. You can see it's going off way to the left. We are not very accurate. I'm also really afraid that these guys are actually going to whoop us. Wow, we're so inaccurate. <laughs> now, you level up just for shooting them. Wow, we're missing everywhere. This is amazing. Oh, we actually got him that time. Okay. Ah, <laughs> we're going to die. No. I want to see how aggressive they are in the water. Okay. Do I have my spear out? Hopefully. Alright. Oh my god, did we kill him? Just took a minute? We did. Oh no, no. He was he was faking. He was absolutely faking. No, nope, stop it, pig. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Stay in the water. Oh, nice. We did pretty good damage there, though. I just can't do anything while we're in the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, what a miss. Oh, we actually hit him that time. Okay. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, my God. It's a fierce battle. Okay, watch out, watch out. We did headshot damage. Nice. Oh, do you see that? That It actually, like, zooms in for a quick second. There it is. Okay, watch out for the other one. Yep. We got him. We actually got one. Okay. Can we take out the other one now? The other one's actually lower level. Oh, my. I didn't mean to let it go right there. Okay. Watch, it actually zooms in after a second. Okay, ow. <laughs> that hurt a little bit. All right, ready. Headshot. There you go. Dodge. We are not dodging very well. We're going to die. We are so far away from everything. If we die, we don't have a bed or anything. Oh, my God. Yep, we're going to die. Okay. Go to the water. Go to the water. We're fine. We're fine. Just slide to the water. Let him no longer be mad, and let's just go away. Hopefully I'm not still bleeding. Oh, we hunted every animal. We got that. Nice. Level 10. Perfect. Uh, we joined guild. We already got that one. Nice. Side. Mark on the map. Okay. How do I... I think I just eat to heal, right? Is that the pig? There he is. Let's get some really good meat here. And we get some hide out of that. Perfect. Nice. We can make a bedroll here pretty soon. Should give me quite a bit. 12 meat. A little bit of bone. Okay, I think he disappeared. Okay, let's see if we can hurry and get a, a quick bed and stuff down. We almost didn't make it. That guy's just chilling over there. We're going to leave him be. That was a long walk to go do that. Let me run all the way back to my campfire. And then we'll start getting ready to do... Some kind of building. Craft bedroll at least. Okay, we can actually start making stuff now. We've got large wooden foundation and wooden foundation. Looks like this one is a double. Let's do that. Is it actually wider or is it just thicker? That's what I want to find out real quick. So let's make one of these and one of these. And we'll see kind of which one is which. Let me do some chopping down while we're kind of waiting. What's cool about this game too is you can actually keep your torch out yeah. while you're gathering, which is really cool. Uh, boom, there you go. We can actually do some axing, swinging our torch around a little bit crazy, but other than that, it's fine. We'll do this. We'll throw our bed roll down, and then hopefully... Man, our health is so low. We didn't die, though. Day one didn't die. I mean, other than when we spawned in. Okay, we've got the wood foundation, which is like that, and then I've got large wood foundation, which is... Oh, it's four of them. Beautiful. So let's do this. We'll go like that. Oh, Nice. Oh, I like the little building animation. That's kind of unique. And then we need a couple more of these. So let's make just one more of those. We'll get a bedroll down. And then we can actually make some ointment to heal up. I did unlock that in the skilled tree over here. Crafting recipes over to food and medicine. And we did, we unlocked crude ointment. 
which is made at... Does it tell me where? It might just be on my inventory. Is it my inventory? Crude ointment. Uh, herbal poultice. Oh, yeah, that, that's it right there. And we need 11 wood ash, which we actually should have a little bit over here. We are healing up slowly over time with the food we're eating, so we're good there. But let's go ahead and grab our wood ash out of here. And whatever other food we have. Is there a quick... Transfer all. Let's just transfer all. There we go. I think we got enough. Let's go ahead and claim another recipe. Nice. Next one is build a house. Unlock a bunch of things and craft and place wooden foundations. Got it. Do one, two. Two more. Okay, and then we need a whole lot of walls. We can make one. <laughs> We're kind of short. It's probably ropes again. It's always ropes. We'll get those made up. And let's see. Mark on map. Press M to open the map and right and click right mouse button to add a marker. So let's go like this. I think we're up here, but I just really don't know. Maybe here. What if I go like that? Mark. Okay, that's 500 meters that way. So we are here. Go like that. Ah, there we are. Okay, we are on this one. So let's zoom in. I think we're here maybe. Nope, that's the other way. So we're the opposite way. We're up here. There we go. We found our spot finally. Okay, now can I get rid of all those stupid markers that I did? Uh, how do I... Can I just get rid of it? Remove marker. Control right click. Control right click. Control right click. Nailed it. Okay. We got a couple more foundations to put down. Go ahead and place... Two, three, and four. We can make this health thing. It should heal us up just a little bit. Can restore five points of HP every second for 12 seconds. That's not bad. All right. We can put our bedroll down. That'll be huge. Bedroll. Place. Like so. And then we'll go storage over here. I know the screen's kind of funky. So let me wait through the night. I'll get a couple walls up so we'll be at least somewhat safe. And then we'll kind of go from there. Level 11. Nice. Oh, we actually leveled up our lumbering. Nice. So leveling up in that category. We are probably going to die here in a second. So I'm hoping that we respawn on the bed. We also shot that guy a couple times, but I ran out of arrows. we got to work on arrows again. I'm <laughs> hopefully I'm going to make it to morning, but I, I think we're going to die right now. Okay. We definitely died a, a gruesome death here. Let's go ahead and get our stuff back. Loot R. There you go. R to loot all things. Okay, so that, that was rough. I'm glad we didn't lose anything, though. Let's get back to building some stuff here. We're actually working on getting some of this made up again. And we need, yeah, just a ton of rope. Everything else we're getting better on. Let's go get some branches and stuff while we're waiting on that. Nice, we leveled up construction, too. Everything we're doing is leveling up something, which is awesome. Let's keep going. One more, two more. We'll finish those up. We're definitely going to go, is this, that's not very tall. We're probably going to have to go taller than that, and I'll do some more foundations so we can build out that way. I don't know how we do, like, special walls and stuff like that, so I'm going to figure that one out. We're crafting a door, but I don't know if we have, do we have to make a doorway? Can we pick our things up so we can, I guess, demolish or repair, okay? Another thing to keep in mind is that your durability runs out crazy fast. The durability goes down. 2%. Well, it's not crazy fast. When you're when I was dying, it was going really fast, but it does go down over time. But if you put a territory banner up, that does slow that down. Obviously, you can change stuff like that with server settings, but let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that one. I forgot to check if it actually does anything weird, though. So then, like this. So, no, we need an actual doorway. So, I assume we're using that one again. Okay, we got more foundations to put down. Okay. One, two, I need one more foundation. Got it. Okay, let's try this again. So if we're placing this, it's T to change the, the toggle type. Okay, okay. So we've got... Oh, no, hold on. I've got T set to my keybinds. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this again. We've got a really cool looking door. Oh, there's some cool looking ones. We want that one. Okay. And then we want just regular walls here. Let's do a window. Okay. And then 
Place this guy. We have a door. We have our final foundation for now. Nice. Looking pretty good. And we still have our dead body. Can I gather from my dead body? We haven't checked that yet. Oh, wait. We gotta actually have the right one out. Come on. Press the button. So it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's, why is your leg like that? All right. We got a couple more walls we need to make. And we are just short on rope. One more of those. And then we have it. Boom. We have our first base at least. I need to get, obviously, a ceiling. And then we need to figure out how to do a territory banner. Let me see about that. I don't see it. There it is. Territory banner is more rope, of course. It's always rope. Rope is almost always the answer. Let's go like this. Place. Okay. Let's change it to a window. And then I want to actually add another door. Go like that. And go like that. So I could have done a door on that too, right? That'd be cool. Okay, we're not quite done with the outline. It's kind of the middle of the night right here, so I don't know if you can see real well. We're going to go ahead and get our territory banner down. Did I make it? I thought I made it. There we go. Territory banner. We'll throw that down real quick, and that should slow down the decay. Territory banner can mark your territory for 48 hours. It can protect your building against decay while increasing decay rate of hostile guilds building within 21 meters. Each player can only own two territory banners. Okay. Interesting. It says hold alt N to see nearby ones. I don't see any. Okay. We need just a couple more things here. Let's throw this guy down. There we go. Our first flag. Boom. There we go. Awesome, man. Feeling like a thing. Let's go ahead and do these two missions. Oh, we got a few missions done. Let's go ahead and actually see what the rewards are so we can see them as we're getting them here. Uh, let's see. This one. Build a door frame. We did that one. Spin linen. Okay. We also got M on the map. We did that. We did that. Okay. We got a lot of missions done today. Let me just finish out this roof. This is kind of the goal for today is to get that roof done. And then we'll figure out what day two holds in the next video. Okay. Let's get to doing these. Press T to change the thing. Boom. And then one here. Flip it around. Got it. And then we just need this piece. There's one there. One there. I really like the drop-in mechanic. Like, the way it drops in like that. That's really cool looking. Hopefully we can do some windows soon, too. That'll look really good. Get that. Come on. There we go. All four of those. We got four little rooftop pieces to go. Still making the last two. So let's place these up here. All right. One... Come on. Two, three, and four. How do I rotate it? There we go. Couldn't get it to go just right. Okay, cool. We at least, if nothing else, have a nice little cool looking base. That <laughs> That's actually a doorway up there. Probably not my best decision having that there, but that's fine. There you go, man. First little base place. There's a lot more stuff that we can get into in the next couple of days. We're going to start getting into some of the actual uh, building stuff where we get into, like, the, the weaving. You can do scaling cloth so you can climb stuff. Some other construction stuff. Construction bench. Tailoring bench. Oh, man, there's so many things. We definitely need to get into the stone tools that would be huge but i'll look through these we'll figure out exactly what we're going to go into in the next one let me know if you have any questions about myth of empires or if you guys have any suggestions put them in the comments down below i really do appreciate the support thank you so much myth of empires we'll still have a bunch of other stuff on the channel but i think we might do this for the next few days at least